Good afternoon, Mineola. I have to say I'm a little proud of myself that I actually remembered um, this afternoon to do our go live. I know I haven't been um, awesome at it these last couple of weeks. So um, thank you for taking a minute to be with me sometime today or in the days to come and just spend um, a couple of minutes with each other and with God. This week, I thought about, I've been thinking about lots of things. Let's not kid ourselves. I've been thinking about a lot of things. But something that continues to come up for me, and I think last night as we did our prayer service, which was praying the mandala again, I was thinking about Sabbathing and stopping and spending intentional and intentional time with God and the Spirit and letting that, um, that time heal us and really being present to it. And for me, I have found that this praying of the mandala, these 25, 30 minutes where I'm just coloring and pausing, taking breaths, holding the things that I need to hold um, loosely as I create has been really, really meaningful and positive for me. And I, but I think all of us find many different ways of doing that. Um, some people really need to just be outside in the wind and um, the elements and just feel the, the spirit of God through wind and, um, and breath. I think as we continue to walk a pretty tense and critical time in our, um, in our society and um, in our global community, it's still really important to take time for Sabbathing. And traditionally, we think of that as Sunday. Traditionally, we think of that as taking a whole day off of work. But I would encourage us to be a little bit more imaginative about what that means to Sabbath, to, um, to breathe in and out and to be present to God. I can't give you how to do that. Possibly it's um, turning off some social media and being present to a meal with your family or um, close relatives. It comes in so many different ways, but if you've been feeling tight inside and a lot of anxiety and fear or just at the end of your rope and you just don't see a path forward, um, pause. Find a way to pause and whatever that means for you. Um, there is a, a prayer that I want to share with you. Many of you know I go on silent retreat every year. This year got switched up a bit, but one of the books that the Jesuits use quite often is called Hearts on Fire, Praying um, with Jesuits. And it takes you through the four weeks of um, Ignatius spirituality, but there's a particular prayer in here that I have used many, many, many times for many, many reasons, and it's called A Hollowed Space to be Filled. And I offer it up it to you and to us as a community this day. A cup must be empty before it can be filled. If it is already full, it can't be filled again, except by emptying it out. In order to fill anything, there must be a hollowed out space. Otherwise, it can't receive. This is especially true of God's word, and I would add, of God's spirit. In order to receive it, we must be hollowed out. We must be capable of receiving it, emptied of the false self and its endless demands. When Christ came, there was no room in the inn. It was full. The inn is a symbol of the heart. God's word, Christ, can take root only in a hollow. Heavenly God, as we as individuals, as we as a faith community, as we as a community and a country and a nation continue to move forward, help us to empty ourselves intentionally of the false self. Help us hollow out space within us in short moments and in large to be filled by your word and by your Christ 
and by your, by your most glorious and holy spirit. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for taking a moment to join me today and um, I pray that you enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day. Peace.